first added this then change the outer radius to 150 Add it inside the thicken generator, add the thicken generator inside the null, open browser, search for axis, drag and drop the geometry axis under null, change the axis z to positive 100, add everything inside the cloner, on the cloner change the mode to radial, change the count to 30, change the radius to 140, Add the cloner inside the null, add the bevel deformer inside the null, change the subdivision of bevel deformer to 1, add everything inside the subdivision surface, come here and display, select isoparms, select the cloner, add the plane object, come to parameters, uncheck position, check rotation, change the RP to minus 10, change the RB to 18, select the cloner again add another plane object uncheck position check rotation change the rb value to 130 on the second plane plane object come to fields add a radial field here on the object manager name it first on the field come to field tab here change the value for a star transition to 70 and angle to 320 and transition to 70 offset to 75 duplicate the field in the object manager name it sec on the plane effector drag and drop this new field to the list change the mode for the second field to add on this new field change the star transition to 160 and angle 350 come to remapping check the invert button add a spherical field inside this plane object on the spherical field field tab change the size to 250 for the blending mode change it to normal for the spherical field come to remapping click on invert change this inner offset to 90 come to frame 0 on the spherical field come to blending tab add a keyframe on layer opacity come to frame 23 enable auto king change the layer opacity to 24 come to come to frame 90 change the layer opacity to 100 select the first field here come to frame 23 come to field tab here add a keyframe for end angle here come to frame 90 change the end angle to 1 here add a cylinder explain to the scene change its radius to 300 change its plane axis to xz and the coordinate for py change it to 80 add a sphere object here change its radius to 35 add the align to a spline tag on it select the circular spline as a spline path come to frame 23 add a keyframe for the position of this align to a spline tag come to frame 62 change the position value for this spline tag to 100 on the cloner object add the rigid body tag under bullet tags on the tag come to collision tab change the bounce to 100 change the friction to zero come to four stop change the follow position to 10 follow rotation to 10 on the sphere add a collider body tag under bullet tags on the collider tag on the four stop change the follow position and follow rotation to 100 on the collision tab change these three values to zero go to frame zero hit on play and as you can see the simulation is running smoothly it's a good idea to save the file for now I name it rotating disk live v1.1 add another panel here add a camera add target tag on it add an R rename it to target on the target tag drag and drop the target null as a target object here on the camera alt 0 to reset its coordinates on the new panel change this default camera to rs camera change the focal length of camera to 120 push it out until you see the whole thing inside the frame add a dumb light here come to browser search for hdri drag and drop anyone you like into texture here for the rs dumb light change the exposure to 1 Add a plane object here, increase its size, push it downward, add a point light here, change the exposure to 14, come to details, change the softness to 50, activate RS render view here, hit on play, on this panel, come to view, use as render view, as you can see we have a nice fighting here, pause it for a second, come to first frame, hit on play, pause on the frame you like, hit on play for the RS render view, that's great, save the file. Open material manager, add a material for the reflection, change its roughness to 0.1, for the IOR change it to 3, for the color change it to white, add it as a material for the sphere, I will pause the redshift for now, add another material, add the color use data node here, on the presets, select geometry ID color, 
add a ramp node here connect the color user data as an alt input for the ramp connect the ramp to base color here on the ramp right click here change the interpolation to a step drag the white here change these two values i will select these two colors for these these knots drag and drop this new material to the cloner hit play on rs render view and as you can see our scene is ready and if you are interested in using scene notes in cinema 4d to making abstract scenes i recommended you to watch this video